Hi everyone, in today's video I'm gonna show you how to compact and optimize the generated executable file or binary file uh, produced by, uh, by Rust. So whenever you write a piece of code in Rust and by default you just use like cargo build um, to basically build an executable file out of your code, this code is not that much optimized as you may think. So you can do some, you can perform some techniques in order to make the executable file uh, smaller and more optimized. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you some of these tips and tricks. So let's do it. Uh, based on Tokyo, uh, a very simplistic uh, code here, running a server. And as you can see, it just comprises 17, less than 17 lines of code, okay? So if by default we use cargo build and actually make the file, um, or basically beat the file, <clears throat> this is what we get. And if I basically try to check the size of the file, uh, this is what I will receive. So as you can see, just this, um, you know, a few lines of code because we have dependencies, etc. the size of code is gonna be 4.4 megabyte. Okay, which is actually quite extensive for this small you know, amount of code. As you can see, by default, when you use cargo build, it actually build the file or compile the file in uh, an optimized and basically debug uh, version, which is of course not good. And uh, as you can see, the size is really significant. So how we can release that? One of the first approach, one of the basic, basic approach here is uh, to use the switch release. So we use cargo build. Okay, cargo build, and this time we use the switch release. So this is one of the rudimentary, basic, basically ways to make optimize uh, binary file or executable file. So if I do and hit the same uh, command and hit the, this basic command on. All right, now let's see what is the difference here and how much improvement we got. So if I use this one, so here we are in release. And as you can see, we got 1.4, whereas uh, with normal, basically default switch without using the release switch, uh, which is in the de debug mode, it's gonna be 4.4 megabytes. So actually, uh, it's like 75% essentially um, improvement. A tool is called Cargo Blot. Okay. Uh, so first thing we need to the first thing we need to actually install this tool. So we use Cargo install and uh, the name is Cargo Blot. And this tool actually allows us this switch basically uh, allows us to figure out you know the most of the space in our executable file. To see what, for example, create or what function we have and how much space they take. So it's going to be very helpful for code optimization. So after the installation, I can a little bit mess around, you know, with my code. So I use like cargo, um, let's say, uh, loud and then I in a release code, um, look for, let's say, uh, the biggest functions in my code. So, you know, sort them out uh, in terms of, you know, size. For example, this uh, top three, I would say. So if I execute that, you know, it tells me, hey, uh, in terms of size, uh, we do have like uh, these uh, parts, for example, we have find frames and resolve. So these are like, basically internal uh, functions that uh, we can see the size of them on the disk. In industrial project, like uh, backend services, any anything actually serious commercial, not, not necessarily toy project or learning projects, uh, like blockchain projects, anything like that, you might actually use various crates, various SDKs and things like that, dependencies, we call them just dependencies uh, in a nutshell. And they these dependencies actually add a lot of space to your binary file so it make it sometimes unoptimized so first thing if you want to perform code optimization in rust 
uh, I mean code optimization or binary optimization because we have another code optimization approach that is based on source code in the base of the logic algorithm data structure etc but here I'm talking about more low level stuff about the binary you got so uh, first thing you need to identify those you know uh, space consuming uh, crates so how you can do that um, you can use again uh, cargo blout and in your release basically version so we know how our file look like I mean um, if I uh, execute release and then crates this is what I get I get the list of basically uh, crates uh, with the size of them on the disk so as you can see we have STD which is um, a standard basically crate uh, and it basically takes 61% of the disk uh, then I have Tokyo, I use that for this sample code and it takes like 140 kilobyte uh, ish, 27% and I do have the rest of them, they are mostly as you can see, they are like um, internal stuff and uh, they are quite small. So here I, I do see, okay, I have these two guys here and if I want to optimize my code, so how can, how can I get around this? So now we are going to strip symbols in order to basically reduce um, the size of our file. So before that, let's um, double check, you know, the size of our uh, current um, binary. So once again, the size now is, so it used to be 4.4. And uh, now after using the switch, uh, um, the release switch, the size actually uh, uh, moved to 1.1. And uh, now we are going to basically um, strip you know, uh, symbols from the binary and see what is the outcome of that to, to our basically released file. So in order to do so, uh, we need to look for cargo file. So here, um, Here we can find our cargo file and what we are going to do, um, we are going to add profile and release and over here set strip is going to be true. So by adding basically um, this command here, uh, it tends to the compiler, hey, go and automatically strip you know, symbols from the binary so it doesn't you know, impact the outcome, the expected behavior of the binary, so it, it behaves as expected, but with uh, basically um, in a more optimized fashion, let's say. So if we uh, use uh, release, uh, if we basically uh, build our project again, As you can see, we actually uh, uh, made our file half of you know uh, uh, normal release basically binary. So here we got 1.1 megabyte, and now we got just uh, around 700k. So yeah, it's actually as you can see, it's a uh, substantial uh, reduction, and without changing the code and uh, basically impact any harmful thing to the code, right? So, uh, what else we can do? Uh, we can use another basically command here, and it's optimize level. And if we just set that to S, here we can optimize for the size and we force the compiler actually to do uh, further optimization. So, yeah. So, we got a little bit of basically optimization here. Um, there are actually more approaches uh, we can uh, use and leverage of in order to reduce the size of code. So um, maybe in a future video, I'm going to basically introduce more techniques you can use for basically uh, for more binaries, for more industrial projects and uh, things like that. All right, guys. So that was it. So I try to uh, basically summarize some of the most critical approaches um, in order to 
um, reduce the size of executable file, the released uh, binary file uh, in Rust. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. There are also more approaches, more sophisticated techniques. Uh, if you like this video, please write down your comments or follow me um, based on where you see this video on YouTube, LinkedIn, um, or elsewhere. Uh, please, yeah, follow me. Uh, if you like, write down your comments. Let me what you think. Share your thoughts. And if you like more video in this kind, like optimization and things like that for Rust, like security stuff, uh, code optimization, apart from you know binary optimization, let me know. I try to make this video short and uh, useful as possible. I hope you enjoy it, and see you soon. Bye bye.